Hi, this is Bill with TurboDial with a quick video on how to use the Continuous Connect feature in TurboDial. So what's the benefit of Continuous Connect? It's all about making calls faster. It will decrease the time it takes for you to transition from one call to the next when you are making your calls using a phone. It doesn't affect when you make your calls using your PC. It's when you make your calls using a phone that Continuous Connect brings its advantages. So how does it work? Well, it puts your phone on hold between calls so that the next call can start immediately when you're ready to initiate it. That means it eliminates the steps to ring and then have you answer your phone every time you're making a call. So we're going to demonstrate that and you'll get to understand that more. So what are the steps for using Continuous Connect? First of all, as normal, you're going to press the call button to start your first call. And since your phone is not already connected, it's got to ring first and you're going to answer it. That's how it works today. The called party's phone then begins ringing. And once they answer, now you're having a conversation. Now, at the end of that call, you don't hang up your phone. The other party can disconnect by hanging up or you can disconnect them by pressing the hang up button on turbo dial or by pressing the star key on your phone's keypad. When you do that, then your phone enters hold mode. And when it enters hold mode, it's going to have a silence followed by a, a double beep every 10 seconds. And it'll just stay in hold for about three minutes until it times out. So while you're in hold, though, it's ready for you to begin the next call, which you do simply by pressing the call button again to start the call. Since your phone now is already connected and sitting on hold, it immediately comes off hold and the called party's phone begins ringing. So you can see you've saved about 10 seconds there in transitioning because it didn't have to ring your phone and you didn't have to answer it. Now, when you are done making calls, you just simply hang up your phone or you can press the hang up button again on turbo dial. So that's how the continuous connect feature works. Let's just comment though, it also is compatible with all the other features in turbo dial. So for example, with leave message recordings, you can record your messages using a phone device. And if you are already connected and on hold and you press the button to record a message, it will immediately begin recording your message. We'll demonstrate that. Likewise, you can play back your messages through a phone device. The auto dialing feature in list dialing for turbo dial will automatically use the continuous connect capabilities. And likewise, if you're recording calls, all of that still works the same with co Continuous Connect. Now, let's go ahead and do a demo. Here we have a TurboDial screen and an Infusionsoft uh, contact listing. <clears throat> On this screen, I've got a calling device, which is different than this PC. I'm not going to be calling from this PC. I'm going to choose instead uh, that device right there. That happens to be a phone that rings right here next to me. And I'm going to hold it next to my microphone so you'll be able to tell when it's ringing. And in this case, for this contact, the phone that we're going to be calling is also a phone that rings right here next to me. Right now, I do not have a call connection established. So when I press the call button, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to call the phone I have selected as my calling device. And as it rings here, I'm pressing the speaker. Now connecting. And there's the now connecting that you expect to hear. And here's the second device ringing. Okay, I've answered the second device, and it's now connected. Now, when I'm done with this conversation, I can simply press the star key on my phone in order to disconnect this call. I'll do that now. Holding. Now, it has put my phone into hold. My phone is now on hold, and I'm ready to make the next call. So, I, let's just pretend I go on to the next contact, and I hit the call button again. Now connecting. Now it's going right into connecting, right? So now I answer that call and I'm connected up again. I can also disconnect a call in addition to pressing the star key by pressing the hang up button. Holding. So that put my originating phone back into hold again. Now I'm on hold with my originating phone. While I'm here, notice that I can also record my voice messages from this phone. I've still got my calling device set up as that phone. When I press this record button, it will bring the phone off of hold and let me record a message. Let's do that now. Press the pound key to end. 
Testing a new recording, one, two, three. Thank you. Your recording is stored. Holding. Now put that phone back and hold, and here's the recording that showed up here. And now when I press the play button, it's going to, again, play it back to this phone. Testing a new recording, one, two, three. Holding. Okay, so it's gone back to holding now. Since I'm all done making my calls, I can press this button to hang up my originating phone device, or I could have just hung it up directly. So that's how continuous calling works in TurboDial. It's going to significantly reduce your time to call a list because it reduces the time needed to transition from one call to the next. Happy phone calling, everybody. Thanks.